Kaiser IM2200626 Ahmad Fikri Bu Ismadi Hai IM2200623 Muhammad Ibn Nudin Bin Abdul Halim Hai IM2200630 Muhammad Fidos Bin Muhammad Azizul Hello sir I'm Irfan Udin. Problem 1. After the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center, the US military had to act immediately to avert further terrorist activities in the country. However, when Mitch Nelson took a stand to go on the mission, he was refused by his superior officer. Why was his appeal denied? Nelson's 575 squad was dismissed as a result. Why did Nelson fire his team? Nelson had applied for a job as, as an army office worker. Why did he ask for it? Nelson desired to spend more time with his family. What was his motivation for wanting to spend time with his family? Nelson realized he was not spending enough time with his wife and daughter. Why don't he spend quality time for his family? Because Nelson has been busy for the past two years training his team. Solution 1. Hal Spencer, who had been planning to retire pursuit Bowers to resign command of 575 to Nelson, as well as volunteering for the deploy. Hello, sir. Problem 2. General Dossum and Captain Nelson had a difficult time working together because the General Dossum did not have the same level of confidence in Nelson as he did in Nelson Troop. As a result, General Dossum did not handle Captain Nelson well right away. Why does General Dossum treat Captain Nelson so badly? General Dossum does not believe in Nelson's leadership or bravery. Why does Captain Nelson have any combat experience? Captain Nelson had spent the previous two years preparing his unit. Why does General Dawson have such a low opinion of Nelson? General Dawson recognized that although General Nelson possessed the leadership qualities, he lacked combat experience. Solution 2. Captain Nelson had to earn General Dawson confidence. Although accompanying General Dawson on the battlefield, he had to put his life on the line in any situation to show that his lack of combat experience did not prevent him from fighting for his country. Problem 3. The first air attack against the Taliban failed miserably. Why? Captain Nelson was unable to obtain a precise position of the Taliban. He was too far away from the Taliban's camp, making it difficult to pinpoint the precise position. General Dorsum forbade any American soldiers from approaching the Taliban's camp. General Dorsum didn't want any of the 12 soldiers to fall into any trouble that might jeopardize their friendship with the United States. Solution 3. Captain Nessel was well aware of the stakes. So he risked his life by approaching the Taliban's camp alone in order to obtain the coordinate. Leadership Strategy 1 What? Captain Nelson was wise in distributing responsibility evenly among his team members. When General Dawson only had six horses for the 12 of them, Nelson split his team into two groups of six, one following his him to Kobaki Cave and the other under Spencer command at Alamo Camp. When Nelson re released that they need to cut off the Taliban weapon supply, he sent another team to the northern edge of Changi Gap to suspend the weapon supply. How it helped? Captain Nelson fast thinking in arguing with Dawson and dividing his team into two help him win Dawson confidence. Team Charlie was finally able to obtain information about the Taliban weapon, weapons. Most notably the BM-21 GRAD which helped Nelson understand the situation and behave in accordance with the weapons. 
leadership strategy to improvise, adapt and overcome. Why? While Captain Nelson has never been to war, he quickly adapted himself to the situation and presented true warrior spirit in the battlefield. Nelson had to improvise his plan of attack after learning about the BM-21 grid, so he used the time to reload the BM-21 to attack the Taliban in close combat style. How it helped, Nelson, who had no prior military experience, adapted to his situation. Dorsum gained confidence as a result, and he joined forces with Nelson and his 595 team to fight. Knowing the Taliban's weaponry, Nelson easily chose close combat to take on the Taliban. Dorsum and his comrades were able to win the fight against the Taliban with the least amount of collateral damage as a result of this.